Hello again. Glad you could join me. I'm here enjoying this after party at the Stronghold, here with the finest ladies you can find on Faerun. Now I know what you're asking yourself. How can I be like Bonk? A rock star Vatican assassin ninja. And get all the glory, get all the riches and the hottest ladies? Well don't worry my little friend, I'm here to help you out. To be like the best. Now before we even look at your build, we have to make sure you can understand how to use this build. You want to be a Walt warrior who has the stats and no idea how to use them? No, I didn't think so. The first thing I want you to do is think like a champion, and champions strategize. We'll think about our battle coming up, and how best to cycle our encounters and annihilate our enemies. Here we go. First, get around behind this ugly bastard, so we can shove this huge sword right up his ass. First, we're gonna hit him with our hidden daggers, increasing our melee damage. Next, slice him with some Weapon Master strikes to weaken him to our encounters. Pop the Battle Fury, pumping that damage as high as it'll go. Light the fire, hit the lantern, hit him hard! Why use the lantern at the beginning? Heh, <laughs> simple. The lower his health, the harder we hit, thanks to the executioner's style. We want to crack that first 20% as fast as possible. The moment our unstoppable is over, we're going to use that savage advance, dealing some big damage and filling that unstoppable right back up. BOOM! Let him have it. Just keep cycling your encounters, keeping in mind to hit that battle fury before the IBS, so it hits as hard as possible. This ugly, undead eyesore never stood a chance. Lots seem to think that playing a group weapon fighter is all rushing and spam abilities and making it as hard for your supports to keep you alive as possible. While well, they're half right, we don't need to be smart. We need to have a predatory like wit with lethal intent. We've done all of our thinking and planning beforehand, so we don't have to think. Let's face facts, it's best that way. We think like a concrete brick flies. Instead, it's best we stick to our nature. A brutally efficient tornado of death and destruction. Leave the thinking and smarts to the casters. They studied. We lifted heavy things and put them back down, over and over, so we could swing this huge sword. But we're not just spamming our abilities. We're spamming them in order, as you've seen. Let's have a look under the hood. For those that have seen my previous videos, which you should have, there have been some changes. We've changed out some of the boons, taking lifesteal instead of incoming healing. Don't want to disappoint our healers and make their jobs too easy, do we? <laughs> not a chance. We also switched out our flame archon for a Xanthirum warlock. This sweet little piece of red ass gives us bonding procs so fast you'll swear they're up your ass to begin with and are falling out. And the biggest and newest change is the mount system. I was fortunate. That I already had the most beautiful and badass mount there is. Giving me that glorious plus 4,000 crit. With our feats and boons, when I've got three bonding procs, I've got 108% crit chance. No waste there. One thing to always think about is balancing your stat numbers. Insignia bonuses, also new and beautiful. Protectors camaraderie and friendship, making the boosts you get from your companion as much as possible. Barbarians revelry, we're going to hit a lot of crits, may as well get a little bit of health for our trebles. Magistrate's patience, Judge Dread, HA! Try Judge Bonk, and I judge you too dumb to realize that you're already dead. More damage equals more win. Finally, Wanderer's fortune, because ooh, shiny! Back to the party. What's the point of being a damage-dealing monster if you aren't able to have some fun and enjoy the better things in life? For more details, look at my previous videos. I shouldn't have to repeat myself to a nab like you. Pay attention! It's not often a glorious, majestic badass like myself takes time to enlighten a mere, puny mortal like you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some hotties here demanding my attention and elite dancing skills. As always, kill fast, kill hard, win fast, and play hard. Bonk loves you, and have fun.